Earthquake shakes U.S. town miles from supervolcano, rekindling fears of pending eruption. A small Idaho town located near the Yellowstone supervolcano was rocked by an early morning earthquake which could be a sign of an impending eruption. The United States Geological Survey USGS, reported that a magnitude 3.6 earthquake struck southeastern Idaho near the town of Soda Springs at 9.08 a.m. Eastern Time Friday morning. The small rural town is just 126 miles from the Yellowstone caldera a bowl-shaped volcanic depression inside the famed National Park. The quake was shallow, just over 10 miles below the surface, according to preliminary data from the USGS. Shallow earthquakes are felt more strongly than deeper ones because they are closer to the surface, but they rarely cause damage to property or buildings. While geologists are still investigating Friday morning's quake, the Yellowstone supervolcano is known to influence seismic activity in the region because of its large magma chamber and connected fault lines. The earthquake produces 1,500 to 2,000 small earthquakes each year, most of them measuring less than 2.0 on the Richter scale. These tremors typically shake the inner Yellowstone caldera and nearby fault zones, but the supervolcano can also affect seismic activity as far away as 100 miles. A recent study suggests that Yellowstone's magma chamber is only 2.3 miles, or about 12,500 feet beneath the Earth's surface. Because the volcano hasn't erupted in about 640,000 years, some experts and locals believe the next eruption is long overdue. A dramatic increase in seismic activity is often a sign that a volcano is about to erupt. Earthquakes around Yellowstone are caused by magma movement, hydrothermal activity, and regional tectonic stress in the Intermountain Seismic Belt, an 800-mile-long stretch of active faults that stretches through Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana.
scientists from the USGS discovered a newly opened volcanic vent in the Norris Geyser Basin in 2024. The vent is at the foot of a rhyolite lava flow and has been spewing steam into the air. In 2003, a similar vent was spotted on the other side of the same rhyolite lava flow. So far, geologists have mapped more than 100 major hydrothermal areas in Yellowstone National Park, as well as more than 10,000 areas within its boundaries. In terms of major eruptions, Yellowstone has had three at 2.08, 1.3, and 0 0.631 million years ago, the USGS explains. That's an average of about 725,000 years between eruptions, the researchers continue. If that's the case, there's still about 100,000 years left, but that's based on the average of two intervals between eruptions, which is not meaningful.